Hey guys, I'm back in Jersey for a wedding. Yes. Hey friends, welcome to my YouTube channel, NBC Lifestyles Diary. My name is Marie and I live in New York. I love to cook and entertain. I love to travel. I love cultural events. And I also like doing family events. So I'm asking you to join me on the adventure. Hey guys, last time you saw me, I was in New Jersey going to a family event. And I'd like to share with you that I am still recuperating from that family event. Man, what a party. So we've been going out to Jersey a lot and um, I hope you people that might not be from New York realize that New Jersey is a separate state but New York treats it like a suburb and families out there and there was a fantastic wedding being held in Somerset, New Jersey. So we went out there, uh, the family booked the room and we were ready to party. It was in Somerset, New Jersey at a spot called The Palace. Now all these wedding venues give great names to their venues because that's memorable and people want to feel like it's special, but The Palace really was a palace. You, walk, you drove in, it's a beautiful winding uh, pathway to The Palace and then the building opens up in front of you and you're like, ooh, this is the venue. You pulled up valet parking, walk through the door, and there were people standing there with glasses of champagne waiting for you. Now that's a way to start a party. Um, as we walked in, well, people were sitting around because the wedding was going to be held at the venue. It wasn't at a separate church or anything like that. And then they announced the wedding was about to begin please take your seats and you walked into another beautiful room so there were chandeliers everywhere staircases everywhere um it was it was very pretty made me want to get married all over again so we go we sit there and unfortunately i couldn't get any um video of the wedding or how the bride came down the stairway and you know, everybody was like, ooh, ah, and applauding. I didn't get a picture of the groom and his groomsmen or the family walking down the aisle. Take my word for it. It was a beautiful room. It was a beautiful entrance. And the um, officiant was the bride's uncle. So he had a lot of insight to share into the couple. There wasn't a dry eye in the house. And ceremony's over, and they announce, now please, uh, let's go back to the cocktails. And as you walk out, they're, they're there waiting to get the party started because there were trays now of lemon drop martinis, margaritas, and non-alcoholic punch. So they were looking for everybody across the whole spectrum. So you're walking in with a drink in your hand, and you are set, you are ready to go. We get to the cocktail room and not only is there food stations, so there was a food station for Caribbean food, a food station for Italian food. There was a raw bar set up. Now that was pretty popular. And there was even a station set up for a Philly cheesesteak. As you're sitting there, they have totally different food being passed around. So I didn't even go to the food station because there was so much being passed around. There was uh, lamb chops, there was um, dumplings, uh, chicken dumplings. There was, oh my gosh, so much. I can't, you know, I can't even begin to describe except that, oh, and more drinks were being passed around. So now I'm feeling, you know, kind of stuff like, hey, let's slow down a bit. I want to save some for dinner. But you're also expecting the dinner to be very simple and very small portions because you've just gorged yourself on all these appetizers. So they announced, let's go to the other room. You walk into the other room, it's, it's even more beautiful than the other two rooms that you've been in. So you walk into this huge room. There was like over 200 guests there also. 
and there's three huge chandeliers in in this space the dj set up with all these television screens around him because as they're taking pictures of the event it's coming up on screen so this is you know and you've got your drink in your hand already we are we are pumped we're ready to go so you enter the room it, you you've been assigned your seat uh, of course there's the the photo booth that's going on and there's another magnificent staircase so you're sitting there and the bride and groom come down they look beautiful everybody's happy everybody's cheering but I did notice that the groom was wearing these really expensive sneakers. Mind you, for the ceremony, he was totally dressed traditionally. Tux, you know, black shoes, you know, gorgeous. But he's coming down the stairs in these expensive sneakers. I'm like, hmm, does he have a foot problem? What's going on? No, man came ready to dance. And he's a big EDM fan, um, so for me, <laughs> I wish I was his age so that I could have been on that floor. Wow! I tried. I tried. But couldn't hang in there for as long as these people did. I felt like I was at a rave slash wedding. That's how much fun it was. Had it going all night, okay? I mean, it was, he extended the time. So this thing started at 5.30. It didn't end till midnight. And even ending at midnight, when we left, there were still people there. I heard there was an after party, but after trying to keep up with the young ones, ah, my body was hurting, but it was fantastic. And then the, the dinner, like I said, I was expecting something light. And no, it wasn't. I ordered the salmon. It was a big piece of salmon on delicious uh, whipped uh, potatoes with um, with uh, vegetables, a sakatash, and as very well presented. Uh, people next to me had the steak, huge piece of steak. I just couldn't believe the amount of food. You're stuffed out of your mind, right? Because, and people are like, I think it was worse than, than the cruise because it's a one day event. So people were like, oh, they paid for this? Oh, we're gonna eat. People were throwing down, um, myself included. So I'm sitting there and I'm eating the salmon and I'm like, oh my God, so much food. And then of course, as the thing progresses, then it gets to the cutting of the cake. Cake looked gorgeous, huge cake. And I'm thinking, that's enough. You have the cake for the party. And then they walk around and say, well, have you gone to the Viennese room? I'm like, what? So you get up and you walk into another room and it's everything in there, okay? There's chocolate fondue, there's all different types of fruit. I think they were uh, making crepes on the spot. There was creme brulee, um, there were pedophores. I mean, I'm telling you I was stuffed, but my eyes was just like, no, I must have this. And they were after dinner drinks. So I was like, for the sake of experience everything, I'm willing to go into diabetic shock. And I proceeded to fill my plate and get my uh, Bailey's after dinner drink. So much. I just wish they had given us boxes to take this stuff home. Little goodie bags. End of the evening come as people are straggling out, or rather, should I say, as I'm sitting there, I'm watching the waiter now carrying trays out the door. And I'm like, what? What's going on? Because we've eaten everything, trays out the door. And so as I go to leave, I understood what the trays were. They were giving people fresh baked pretzels, plain, salted, different types of mustard. I was like, oh my God, ah. Great event, nice send off. Of course, you could keep getting drinks from the bar or you, uh, you chose the red or white wine to drink. It was a blast. I just, at one point, the colors were going and the music was going. And at one point I really expected uh, color balls <laughs> to come and start splattering the guests. You know, if you've ever watched those videos, I was half expecting that. 
didn't happen, but it was a good time. And you know how it goes when things are flowing right. By the end, everybody was buddies on the dance floor, singing, carrying on. I'm really glad I went out to Somerset, New Jersey to experience this. And I wish the couple much happiness and success in all their endeavors. I love it when family knows how to throw a great event. And, you know, on, on one hand, it was very hard for this couple because they were supposed to get married in 2020. And um, that's when COVID broke out and everything was shut down. Then in 2021, they would have had to have a very modified wedding with no dancing and maybe not as many people. And they both come from big families. So I thought it was very sweet of them to take that into consideration and press on for what they wanted. So in 2022, they finally were able to get married in the way in which they had dreamed. And it's a great testament to patience and perseverance. They had everybody that they wanted there and everybody was really glad to be there and they had it in the way that they wanted. And now that I see how the groom uh, changed into sneakers and how he and his friends really love to dance, I understand um, why that was so important to them. Because, you know, you want your wedding to be memorable. You don't want it to be, oh, but for COVID, we had to do it this way. So much love to them. So I'm asking you, if you'd like more of this content, please subscribe and like and keep watching NBC Lifestyles Diary.